It's a busted array like we thought. Sounds like they're having problems with their encoder. You get us down there and Isaac and I can fix it. 48 hours max. All right, you have the lady. Take us in, let's see what needs fixing. Gravity tethers engaged, automatic docking procedures a go. What the hell? Sir, the auto dock. What is it? We're off track, we're gonna hit the hole. Hit the blast shields. That guidance tethers damaged. Switch to manual, now. Inside the magnetic field? Are you insane? Abort! No, we can make it inside. Corporal, I gave you an order. The field's too strong. saved our asses, Miss Daniels. If we had aborted at that speed and distance, we'd have smashed right into the side of the Ishimura. Now settle down, let's get to work. Corporal, report. I'm not getting any readings from the port booster, and we've lost comms and autopilot. It'll take some time to fix. All right, let's get some extra hands from Flight Deck to help out. Hold still, Isaac. I'm syncing up everyone's rig with the ship. Okay, we're done. Clean bill of health for everyone. All right, we've still got a job to do. We're moving out. Ah oh, yes, Dead Space. The game that made wearing a really over-the-top suit look really good. This game is one of my favorite horror games. Um, absolutely terrifying, really fun to play, and uh, really addictive, oddly. Use run to move quickly. Walk is left stick, look is right stick, and run is left button plus left stick. So, okay. Bit of an odd button combo, if you ask me, but kind of cool. You didn't lose power to the Running port booster. Running is important. You lost the port booster. Unbelievable. And we're aboard what they, we've already been told is the, the USG Ishimura. Um, it's a planet cracker, basically a colossal mining vessel. Because the power's down everywhere. Isaac, get over here and hack the door pad. So, look for blue holograms to activate, press A to open, unlocked versus locked. You can also do that really cool kind of navigational thing, but it does all happen in real time. Um, I'm trying to remember how you do the floor stomp. I don't think I can, can do the floor stomp in the tutorial yet. Come on. Alrighty, and uh, so here we go. We are aboard the Ishimura. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. There should be a security detail in here. Yeah? Well, there's not. There's nobody here. I can't pick up any broadcasts. But that security console is still live. Isaac, log in and see what you can find. Kendra, get that elevator back online. Power's dead. I can't. Then we root the damn power. Look, if we all cooperate, we can figure this out a lot sooner. Let's get that computer display up, Isaac. Here's the system. All right. So we have a new objective. Uh, we get our locator screen by pressing and holding the right stick, like we've already discovered. It gives us a little blue line. The map screen we get by pushing the back button, which on the Xbox One controller is the menus button. And the objective screen, which we get by doing uh, back and right button. 
Somehow. Ah, back and then right button, not at the same time. I got it. Okay, so there's the objectives. Uh, pretty straightforward. For the most part, I generally don't ever really read the objectives, because you should know what you're doing just by being told. So, you can see the little blue line on the floor will always show you where you're going. Um, there's a really cool mechanic they did in this game that I always, always think kind of got overlooked, is that um, the boots that your character's wearing always seem to stick to the floor a little bit heavier. It makes it feel a little bit more grounded. Uh, this is one of the only games I've ever really felt like your character is actually present. And what's really cool is because it's a third person um, game instead of being a first person, you do kind of see if something's trying to sneak up on you. It's really clever. Um, they take away your sort of your peripheral and make it that you're always stuck looking over his shoulder. So in a way, they obscure stuff. You'll see what I mean as we progress. Also, if you're uh, squeamish or easily startled, this is not the game for you. And I uh, can assure you, I'm probably going to get startled a few times, and I'm sure we'll get a few jump scares out of me. All right. Damage reward. Huh. That doesn't look good. She's taking a lot of damage. The tram system's offline. Getting around is going to be difficult. The air seems to be flung again. That's a start. <laughs> What the hell was that? Automatic quarantine must have tripped when the filtration system restarted. Everybody relax. What was that? Did you hear that? Not sure. What the hell? I don't know. Something's in the room with us. Jesus! Over fire! Over fire! Send up power! Send up! Come on! Got it! Isaac! Get the hell out of there! The doors are locked! Run! I should also say, uh, if you have a sensitivity to strobing, probably also not a good idea to be watching as well. Alright, so there's all kinds of goodies laying around, and the more you explore, the more you're rewarded, but you're also sort of punished for exploring. Aim is left trigger, and right is fire. Reload is left trigger while pressing A. You can also do this, which is really cool, because you can rotate your cutter. The uh, concept behind this game was... Uh, there we go. Punch is right trigger. And stop is right button. Uh, so the concept behind this game is you don't just kill enemies, you dismember them. And the reason you dismember them is to make it much harder to kill them. We'll just smash the Xboxes on the floor here. Meanwhile, everyone's dying, and I'm just, like, merrily wandering around looting stuff. I think you gotta smash these things. Or glitch out and fall backwards. There we go. I don't like wasting ammo on those if you don't have to. And make sure it's dead. Put all this on. Go. It's dead. This game doesn't offer much ha in the way of hand holding. You're kind of thrown into it, and it's like, hey, here, you figure it out. Um, I just was curious about one thing. Um, 
Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I always thought that this game did not allow you to change the difficulty once it was set. And that is 100% true. I'm just hoping I didn't pick the wrong difficulty to play on. Alright, so we got an Xbox down at the bottom there. I can't really get to it. Oh, I can pick up the credits though, and reload. Oh, there's something in there. That, that gave me a bit of a jumpy jump. Alright, let's go this way. Collect and use health packs to replenish your health bar. My health isn't really low, and I don't think I want to waste a health pack right away. This is what's this? Everybody listen up. They're using the vents. That's how they're getting around the ship. Stay away from the out. Get back. Get back. Nothing ominous about this at all. Alright, let's open this. So, the reason I'm picking up credits, uh, credits allow you to buy things at vending machines. Isaac! God, I can't believe you made it. Isaac. <laughs> we ran to more of them on the way over here. Are you okay? More what? What the hell are those things? Is that the crew? Keep your voice down. Whatever they are, they're not friendly, and half the doors on this ship are locked because of the quarantine. Now, we have to get to the bridge, but first, we gotta repair the tram system. You're crazy, Hammond. You're gonna get us all killed. If you listen to me, I will get you out of here alive. Now, what's wrong with the tram? The data board is fried, but there should be a spare in the maintenance bay. There's also a broken tram blocking the tunnel that needs to be repaired. Damn it! Everything is on the other side of this quarantine. We can't reach it from here. No, we can't. But you can. Isaac, if I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel files. You fix the tram, and I'll help you find Nicole. Here's the map. Alright, sorry, I was trying to fix... M I just realized my stream didn't populate with the game I was playing. That's kind of weird. Uh, use the map screen to check objectives and important locations. Alright, we're good. So yeah, these are just kind of like aesthetic vending machines. They're kind of cool. They remind me a little bit of Bioshock. This game had some really good level design um, and really awesome props. The other really cool thing is you can't just save wherever you want. You actually have to go up to these little guys here and go boop, and then you can save. Okay, so I, yeah, I, my last playthrough I beat it on easy. That was a while ago. Um, actually, it doesn't really say when it was. Um, so let's do... Uh, wow, there's a lot of save slots in this game. That's cool. I'll, I'll save over my cleared game. There's no point in keeping a game you've already beaten. You can't really go... Well, you can kind of go back, but there's really no point. Yeah, just save over it. Boom! Saved over. I'm kind of I'm kind of curious now how hard it's going to be on medium versus easy. All right, so there they are right there. Those are the two people that I need to help. They're waiting for me to fix the tram. So now I need to get to the maintenance bay and find a board. Uh, see, I can't call a tram because the board, the um, device is damaged. Again, like I was saying, you want to pillage and find as much as you can. So whenever you find lockers, containers, anything worthwhile, always open them. So there's um, a good, uh, there's an awesome YouTuber called um, Game Developers Toolkit. He does a really good uh, analysis of Dead Space. Probably one of my favorite ones, talking about the, the brilliance of the engineering of the game. Uh, it really was unlike anything that's ever been made, and it really still is, hence why I think I enjoy playing it even after all these years. Are you dead or are you alive? I'm 
totally gonna curve. Holy crap. Curb stomped. Okay, that was terrifying. Don't do that to me again, please. Thank you. Holy heck. Um, see, that's interesting. We literally just had a save point, and then, like, right away there's another save point, and it just lulls you into a sense of false security. You walk up to save, and boom, that thing gets you. Alright. Hopefully no more scaries. So, yeah, maintenance is offline, so I can't use the elevator right now, so then this is gonna force my hand, and in fact... Oh, this is log. Benson, Tram Engineering. We think we figured it out. Smith killed one. Listen, forget about shooting him in the body. You gotta cut off the limbs. Grab a cutter, anything like that. Cut him apart! Also, when I went to play the audio log, I totally caught the X button and I used a, a health kit, which sucks. Because those things are so rare. Alright, we're gonna have to go down to the tram tunnel. Yep. That was un unsettling. So I cur curb stomp. Make sure you're actually dead. Nothing personal. Don't roll down the hill. You know what? Fine. Be gross and rolly. Thanks, game. I needed Isaac, that. Be careful. Shooting them in the body didn't seem to work. Go for the limbs. Dismember them. That should do the job. <laughs> Conserve ammo by dismembering em enemy limbs and doing extra damage. Cut off limbs quick to kill enemies. So the thing I find funny is within the span of like not even a minute, you're told three times to remove their limbs to kill them. So clearly the game designers were worried that people wouldn't pick up on this mechanic. I only have, do I have only have six rounds? There's no way I only have six rounds. Ah, oh, this is unsettling. Big empty corridor. Okay, I think I need to go that way. There is something right there on the floor, and I know it's probably going to be worth it, but there's probably going to be something that's going to attack me if I go and get it. So, let's get attacked. Thousand credits. Always a sound you want to hear. Xbox, get the credits, grab a stasis module. So the stasis module is kind of cool. Uh, basically what it does is it allows you to hold things temporarily still in time, like this. And then you can pass through them without getting completely macerated by them when they close. Looks like that door but is malfunctioning, Isaac. Try using the stasis module you just picked up. Um, stasis is a consumed resource as well, so if you get too stasis crazy, well, then you have no stasis. Again, save point, oddly close to the last save point. Check your corners. Make sure there's nothing ready to just completely an annihilate you. Yeah, the sound design in this game was also second to none. Um, really good atmospherics, great use of music. Uh, for the majority of the game, there really is no music. A uh, lot of ambient. Yeah, that's great. That is absolutely great. All right, I'm gonna put my back to the elevator here. All right. Curb stomp the Xbox. So generally, power going out and coming back on the online means something has changed. Which way am I even going? It wants me to go that way. This way is curiously intriguing, though. There is a bathroom. I will take the med pack. 
And like I was saying, you can find goodies by exploring, but generally there will be something waiting to punish you for also exploring. A lot of games use this mechanic. One of the best ones that did it was Metro. The more you explore, the more you get. The more you explore, the more you fight. So, there's something at the end of that hallway right there, too. So yeah, it wants me to go that way, but there's stuff, like, all over the place. And I'm probably gonna get punished for this. Oh, it's that sense of false security. Like, thinking that you're gonna get ambushed. You know what? I'm gonna be a little bit paranoid. Oh, I'm trying to remember, does this game limit saving? One of the difficulties, you can only save like once or twice at the save stations and they're disabled. I hope that's not medium. It seems okay. I know on medium, ammo is a lot more scarce and uh, enemies have a lot more health. Your stasis module should be able to help you with that arm mechanism. Yeah, so there's a great example of the audio right there, when the, everything moved. There's a, actually a part later in the game where the audio is just like this overwhelmingly, deafeningly loud roar. And uh, you can't hear anything trying to come up on, like sneak up on you, and it's just, uh, it's awesome. <laughs> That's all there is to it, it's awesome. Alright, we got a power node. Uh, we'll, you'll see what these are for in a, in a bit. Okay, so we got one node activated. And there are puzzle elements in this game, and it's clever the way they did the puzzle elements. They basically want you to use different resources. I hear something. Oh my goodness. Hello. No leg for you. No leg for you. And a curb stomp. Curb stomp him. There. Almost. So close. There you go. Isaac wins no awards for curb stomping efforts. Alright, so manually attach claws to initiate repairs. Alright, we gotta somehow manually attach the other one. Ah! I don't like when it kicks up like that, it's, it's weird. Alright, are you actually dead? Sorry. Sorry. to get it back to the repair depot, but now the auto loader is fried. I need a stasis module brought down here now. If we don't get this piece of shit off the tracks, it's gonna jam up the whole system. Alright, so here's an example of where we want to stasis. So we want to put this in place. Stasis it. So it can activate. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's try again. Come on. Oh, I get it. I have to keep this in place and then run up to here. Come on. Here we go. Got it. Retracing damage tram car. Please stand by. Get some more stasis. Isaac, you did it. 
The tram is blocking the whole system. When you get the computer online, you'll be able to call the tram from the control room. Faster the better. I can hear something crawling around out there. There is something coming. So like I was saying, they'll use really loud audio to cover up enemies entering the uh, the area. And now we have to head back. And like I said, power went out, so something changed. So... I probably should reload. I also should have to figure out how much inventory I have. Nope, not the right button. Where's my inventory? What was that? There is something up there. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna save. Let's keep going carefully. All right, we're gonna deal with the messed up door again. Yeah, here comes something. Okay, we took a few hits from that. We're still good. I'm not gonna use a health kit yet. Cause we're, we're still good. I could have stasis those things, but I just, I kinda wanted to save it. Isaac, I've patched into the deck security system. It took some work, but I've got the door to the maintenance bay unlocked. The data board should be somewhere inside. wants us to go this way. Nothing's on the floor. Mm, yeah, let's grab a save. We're right here. Wrong button. Alright, we got a save. Isaac, you still need to find the data board to the tram computer. It's in the maintenance bay. Isaac, it's Kendra. It looks like the door to the storage room is locked. There should be a key somewhere in the maintenance bay. There are two things coming. Okay, two things are dead. Got a small med pack, that's good. This is 
swore I heard something. I could have blown up that canister, but I didn't know that that would have... Oh, never mind. Let's get a chance. I still don't think I'm alone in here. So I want to check my ammo again. Still good. I got about 30 rounds, but... Ammo goes fast. Oh, we got some more plasma energy. Okay, we're good. We do have a storage room here. So we need the key for the storage room. So that's where we are heading. this is quite the right way. I want to go down there, but I'm assuming there's going to be something that's waiting to kill me down here. Oh, scary things. I hear you eating. Holy heck! else. Okay. Getting quite a few med packs. I probably could go with using one. Yeah. I don't want to use another one. I'll, I, I like to use it when I'm down like a full notch because they're almost a they're almost a full notch. Scary. And coming. Nothing's coming. Let's go. Things masquerading as dead? Or actually dead? Thing masquerading as dead. Not sure if dead or not. Looks still kind of alive. I'm gonna curb stomp it. It's dead. Got the maintenance key, that's good. I'm not gonna read that. If you wanna read that, you're more than welcome to pause the stream and read that, but I don't feel like reading that. It's a lot of text. This is the maintenance report log, basically. 
Oh, I'm and full on plasma energy. That's good. Only two. I can use a health kit. That will actually free up some space. Okay, good, good. Everything goes in kind of... It's like the stack system, so if you're used to, like, the RPGs... There's definitely some coming. Kind of Yeah, so this weapon I'm using is the Plasma Cutter. Uh, pretty much the best weapon in the whole game, aside from the Line Cutter. You'll see that. Okay, it's 100% dead. I just had to be sure. It wants me to go in, but I want to explore, because there's always worthwhile stuff up here. Oh, I was hoping that would be credits. Why is this thing moving? That is so bizarre. A little unsettling, but kind of cool. So one rule of thumb with dead space. Um, <laughs> I was just gonna say, if you leave an area and you come back to that area, something will change. And that something was a big scary thing coming screaming at us. Uh, curb stomp it. Make me feel better. Here we go. On this way. I think we're actually going. Yeah. Just ambient noises. We're going into the uh, storage room. We should be safe once that door closes. Okay, we're safe now. Said no one ever. Cool, we got a power node. Power nodes are really, really, really handy. I'll, uh, I'll explain in one second yes, right now. So you use the power nodes to modify your weapons, your rig, which is basically your suit, and the different modules you have. So there's a stasis module, there's a couple other modules, but again, not going to get into them right now, I don't want to spoil anything. Um, really the two most important ones in this game are your health and your weapon. Um, Generally, the first ones I go for is I generally go for uh, an upgrade in air before I go for an upgrade in hit points, um, because air is a rare resource, and the more air you have, the longer you can survive when you get end up in a vacuum. So we're going to do an air. And we are going to do a damage upgrade on the plasma cutter. The damage upgrade is going to help us save on ammo consumption. And once you put the node in place, that is it. There's no removing that. It is in place forever, as far as I know. I want to. I want to take that. That is a really good item. Um. I don't want to drop this. At the same time. I don't really need a ton of health... I really would love to have a double health kit. Okay, I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna take the double. Okay, if I need one, I know where it is. It's that thing, like, you know, do I risk throwing resources on the ground that I might need? Because I got 50... 50 cutter ammo. I can't reload it, so... I just don't like leaving health packs behind. That's it, Isaac. Take the board back to command control and plot it into the computer array. That should get the tram system back online. Hey, come back here.
Well, that kind of worked out. I think I can pick this up now. Why did the music spike? Oh, it wasn't dead. It is now crawling around on the floor. Yeah, that is wonderful. Okay, now it's dead. Holy crap! I don't remember there being this many enemies on easy. They also take a lot more to kill. Oh yeah. We're for sure saving. Should be safe in here, said no one ever. to the bridge. Good work. Strange. The quarantine just lifted. Whatever was in the flight lounge must have left. That's lucky for us. Isaac, get back to the Kellyon and prep it for launch. We'll find out what we can from the bridge and meet you there. If we live that long, you're out of your league, Hammond. This is suicide. We're going your to die up here. Your confidence in me is duly noted, Miss Daniels. But I have a mission to complete, and that's exactly what I am going to do, with or without you. Do we understand each other? Just get us out of here alive. That's the other cool thing about Dead Space is you'll finish a mission 
and it doesn't feel like it was a mission. It feels like it was part of a larger task. So you always feel like, not like, oh, it's done, now I gotta wait. It's more like, I'm done, and now I need to go and do this. Or Because the idea behind uh, the character Isaac, he's an engineer, so he's trying to fix everything. We should be heading back to the flight deck. Something's changed. Those are... Where did my stairs go? I've lost my stairs. He was dead. I didn't loot these, though. Health and credits. I'll take the credits. I can't refill my health, and I don't really want to throw anything else on the floor. Sorry, strobe warning. Alright, back into the elevator. Gonna take any chances with anything sneaking up on me. Okay. There's something over there, so we're definitely not alone. Flight lounge, that was the word I wanted. Isn't it great following something that you know is going to attack you the second you get around the corner? And now it's in the air vent. And now it's right in front of me. And behind me. Wonderful. That's what you get for startling me. You better be dead. You are dead. Okay. Don't be gross. Alright, we're back at the flight lounge. We should be safe. There's a lot of broken Isaac. vents. We made it to the bridge. It's a nightmare up here. No survivors. We're going to try to get to the command computer. Wish us luck. Let's do a quick save here. And then let's go on a pillaging spree. Come on, credits. Oh, I want credits. There's something right here in that locker. Got it. 1800 credits, I'll take it. We're actually doing well. We haven't taken a lot of hits from things. Alright, so we're gonna keep making our way back to the crash ship and get it prepared for launch again. Medkit.
So there's several enemy variants throughout the game. Each one has their own tactics and uh, movement styles. Don't know the names of any of them. All I know is that the actual like species is called Necromorph. Or is that something else? I think that's right. I think it's Necromorph. I don't know. I forget. <laughs> load. So we're gonna load a damage report again. Those are right home. It's the only way off the ship. Kendra. No, Hammond! This changes everything! Just let me think. Can you access the command computer? It's no good. There's an executive lockdown of all primary systems. Without the captain's authorization, I can't access them. Well, where's the captain? Here he is. Captain Benjamin Mathias. Location? Med lab. Status? Deceased. What? How? I can't access that information. Find the captain and you'll find his rig. With his authorization codes, I can crack this computer wide open. Damn it. Isaac, I'm sending the tram back to your location. Get to the medical deck and find that rig as fast as you can. What was that? Oh. So from bad to worse. And once again, we're passing through a previous location, so the game's probably going to change something on us. Alright, I'm gonna do a quick save here. And I'm gonna go grab a cup of tea. And then we will continue on to the tram station. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, and uh, let's work our way to the tram station. I'll take the credits. Yeah, it wants me to go that way, but I want to go this way. Large med pack. I do want that.
pretty worthwhile, actually. So we've unlocked the store now, and this is what I was excited for the credits for. Um, when you get enough credits, you can go into the store and you can buy things. You can buy things like ammo and med kits and stuff like that. Um, it's really handy, so you can store stuff that you're not currently using, but you might need later, so... Let's enter the store. And the one thing that I do want to buy is this right here. So this is your level 2 suit. Um, your suit is like the most important thing ever. And it increases your inventory slots and your armor. And uh, it's 10,000 credits, we have 1,900. So we're definitely going to buy it. So we've taken care of the level 2 suit. I think the next thing we're going to buy is we're going to buy ourselves a line gun. The line gun creates a very large beam that is extremely handy. Um, we could buy the military pulse rifle. It isn't bad. But I, I personally, I think I'm going to do the line gun first. And we are going to um, put some items into our safe. So we're going to move a bunch of the med packs to our safe. We got two medium, a large, and some small. That should be good. And then that way we can uh, carry around a bit more ammo. Red weapon icon. Your weapon has no ammo in it. And you switch weapons by using the uh, the D-pad, like most games. So this is the line gun. Big, chunky, boxy thing, but when you go to use it, you get that. So like the plasma cutter, but a lot wider. Um, the only thing is you can't flip it vertically, instead it fires out uh, landmine, uh, basically uh, proximity mines. So there's your line gun, and there's your plasma cutter, which you can rotate. But you can't do with the line gun. And I don't have any nodes. Um, I used all my nodes. And I didn't buy any nodes. Really, decisions are quite paramount in this game. There is really no bad decisions. Almost anything you build, your your whatever loadout you go is gonna work for you in some way. Save my progress. And on to Chapter 2, Intensive Care. Shh. Shh. It's alright, McCoy. 
He's here. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, I knew you would come. Just like you said. I, I saved this. Alright, so now we've got Kinesis. So Kinesis is like stasis, but we can now pick up objects with Kinesis. Like this. Kinesis doesn't have a limitation to how much um, you can use it, which is a great way of conserving ammo. I'm trying to remember how you throw things with Kinesis. Oh, I don't think I can throw that, to be honest. I think that's too heavy. I think it's... is it this? Yeah, okay, I got it. You pull the trigger and then you fire it. Uh, there is a store here as well. There's something on the ground. Oh, that's just lighting. No? There's something on the floor here. Schematic here for the flamethrower. Flamethrower is not a bad weapon. Not my favorite, though. Alright, so I'm going to be brutally honest. The med bay is. There. We were attacked. Kendra's gone. One minute she was there, and I, I can't believe I lost her. We can still do this. Get me the captain's rig codes, and we'll find Nicole. Looks like the crew barricaded the door to the emergency wing. We'll have to blow through it to get to the morgue. Get some thermite from medical storage, and a shock pad from zero-g therapy. Should be down the corridor. Communication is useless in all this static. Okay, as I was saying, uh, the med bay, or uh, the medical floor, is probably one of my most disliked parts of this game because it's terrifying. So the uh, line gun does use different ammo than the other gun. Um, it uses what they call line racks. <laughs> So this is where the game gets interesting. As you start picking up more weapons, it starts giving you different ammo. So we do gotta go through there. I'm gonna quickly save, because I'm probably gonna die. Being optimistic. Definitely dead. Masquerading as dead. I'm pretty sure that's not... I'm pretty sure that's not dead. Well, maybe it is. So we gotta fix the broken door again.
anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. And it begins. I tried to stasis this dude, but I ended up stasis him on the table like that. Until that siren goes off, things aren't clear. Still something in this room with me. I can even hear it. I really want to go in that room. There's all kinds of cool stuff in there. Alright, I think it's down on the lower floor. There it is. I'm going to break out the line gun, because I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's going to be big. Okay, so quarantine's lifted. We are back and good to explore again. Plasma energy and line racks, yes, ma'am. Oh, I should reload the line rack. Um, nope, not that. That. Wasting stasis on nothing. Wouldn't God's name is 
going on down there? I think that's precisely the point, Doctor. God's work. I'm not so sure of that. We have to assume that the colony's problems are somehow connected to the marker. You can assume all you want to. I do not. The marker is glorious and divine. You... you know that. God moves in mysterious ways. Anyway, we'll have it on board tomorrow. You can analyze it all you want to. What are you so worried about? Worried? Captain, people are dying down there, killing each other. Is this madness the transformation unitology teaches us? Doctor. Terence. There will always be risk when the stakes are high. And here, they're enormous. It could change everything. And that's what worries me. Here we go, get some exposition about the world we live in. Alright, I see something here. I've never found this before. This is interesting. The vid logs from the colony are poor quality, but the artifact does indeed appear to be a genuine marker. The first to be found in Unitology's 200 year history. I'm eager to get it on board the ship so I can study it properly. Uh, the potential here is enormous, not just for me personally, though it's true I've dreamed of such a discovery for decades but also humanity and the Church of Unitology in particular. The marker could herald the dawn of a new age of mankind, and I will do my part to ensure it comes to pass. I know the Church will be grateful, but the true recognition will come from all of humanity. On this day, we are blessed. And looks like we got a line. Oh, we got a gold semiconductor. Gold semiconductors are just basically really expensive components that you can sell for uh, money. I'm just going to keep exploring because there's all these little locked rooms to uh, open up and uh, there's all kinds of goodies in them. That's a pen. That's a line rack. That's credits. And that's credits. And there's a save station. I will save. Back out we go into the world. Come on! Come on! Let me out! Go! I forgot how much I hate these things. So, backstory on these. These were babies. That's why I hate them. Because creatures that look like scorpions with baby heads. Horrific. And now that we've seen that they can just obliterate a man. So we're full of line racks and we're full of... <laughs> Hate those things. I'm doing pretty good on ammo consumption, because I'm not able to pick up a lot of stuff, but that also kind of worries me. Because that makes me wonder, am I carrying the wrong things around? I don't think so. I have a stasis thing, which I could use to refill my stasis. 
know what? Let's do that. Let's refill stasis. And let's, um, pick up the plasma energy. Line racks, not so much. I don't like the music here. It's just odd. Yeah, so back on the topic of level design from earlier. Um, the other cool thing they do in this game is um, forcing perspective. So, like, you're on an elevator going up, and you can only kill these things by shooting the tentacles. Oh, weird, it's still alive. Like, you're on the elevator and it goes up, but you can't see what's going to be on the floor above you. So you have to wait. Oh my goodness. Holy oh, heck. Yeah, you're definitely going to first stop. Frick. That made my... That made me, uh... That made my heart stop for a minute there. Where did that one even come from? Is it just like hiding in this? Yeah, Isaac, I agree. Anything else wanna like jump out and terrify me? There's all kinds of stuff. That's just backing beckoning me to uh, inspect it. So first of all, we got a power node. Second of all, we got plasma energy. And third, there's something sparkly on the table. Thermite. Okay, right. there's one objective that down. That thermite you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade. Use the shark pad to ignite it. Hope I can hold this position. I can hear something big moving out there. Alright, so we're back in the main lab. I just noticed... Did anyone just notice the elevator just came up? Or is that just me? That kind of weirded me out. Alright. The defective door is still here. Which means I'm going to have to stasis it again. And not get killed by it. And something has changed. something in here. There it is. That was weird. I've never killed it just by shooting it in the body. Is it dead? Is it masquerading? Yes, you're dead. Definitely dead. Okay. How about you? I'm trying to remember. Can you rip off the... The spikes? Oh, you can. I thought you could. And then you can fire them back at things. Yeah, okay, I remember this. Alright, whatever. Um, I'm going to refill my stasis, and I'm going to rip off one of the spikes, so I'm probably going to need one. You can't open it when you're holding something. Alright. That's fun, though. It reminds me a little bit of um, Bioshock with the, uh, the, the whatchamacallits. Oh, hey, Poison. Welcome back. Um, what's it called? Telekinesis. Telekinesis. That's what I wanted. All right, there is something in here with me again. I want my spike. Where'd my spike go? All right, my spike is gone. Let's get another one. There's something in here. 
And it's dark. No, no, no. Don't do that. Alright, everything about this is awful. This is why I wish there was grenades. Oh, that dude's just smashing his head against the wall. Yeah, that's not messed up at all. This kind of looks peaceful. A little bit. Aside from the rest of his everything missing. Oh, don't use the data on your phone. That'll burn your data like crazy. Just watch it afterwards. Once it's once I'm done, it'll get uploaded. There, oh my goodness. Alright. No, no, no. No more scary things. My heart can't take it. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna use the bench, because I do have a note. Okay. Um... Eh, now that I think about it, what do I want to do? I kind of want to work towards a hit point. It's probably the best course of action. Let's have a look at what we can do with the plasma cutter. I can increase the capacity of it, and then the reload. You know what? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my original plan, and I'm gonna start working towards HP. Yeah, save your data poison. It's not worth it. Okay, I can't go in here, but... Oh, if I hadn't used my node, I could have gone in there. Haha! <laughs> Idiot. You don't have enough nodes, and I bet you there's a node in there. So we got, uh... Harris is asleep after another strong sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most productive... Oh, most people succumb to exhaustion after 50 plus hours of waking, uh, regardless of any desire to stay awake. Not Harris. His explanation of events on the colony is, uh, is also odd, and points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planet side. His guilt is not in doubt to planet side. Oh, is not in doubt two planet side security officers were present when he took Dr. Uh, Sierra Lello hostage and murdered nurse Evans. And he doesn't deny his actions, but he insists he was there was no crime, nor does he feel guilt. This classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is a f uh, affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about the murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and in intransigent, displaying schizophrenic behavior. Uh, he also undergoes intermittent hallucination periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. Harris claims he threatened the doctor because he had to stop the dreams and the faces, and that he would kill again to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. A most intriguing case. Sorry, one sec. I gotta take a sip of tea. Mm, getting a raspy voice from talking there. Alright. Hopefully we get a power node, because I want to open that room. Alright, so we got a kinesis lock, and we can move this out of the way.
It's behind me. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Not the right object. Or not the right action. Alright. Elevator should be active now. I want to go in this room here. Are you... Are you good? You're not going to turn into something terrifying, are you? Alright, I'm going to use that stasis... I should have known that was going to happen. Is this thing actually dead? It is now. Cripes. Okay. Should have known something was going to come out of that air vent. Now I'm becoming paranoid of air vents. Alright, I'm just gonna go... Do I wanna go back and... You know, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna check that door. Or that room, rather. Right here. Alright, let's unlock this. I know it costs a power node, but sometimes there's a power node in the room. Med kit. Large med kit. What am I carrying that I can drop? I've got schematics. I really need to, uh. I need to turn in some of these schematics. I'm gonna grab the large med pack. What is this? Probably a gold you center. You found something no? down there, didn't you? Yes. yes. We found something. So the texts were right all this time. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down in the colony. It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He of all people should know that this is greater than him, or the operation, or even the company. This is our deliverance. Keep your damn voice down. People are dying down there. Only the worthless and the unbelievers. But I believe. Do you believe, Terrence? How far away was the entrance of the map here? I don't think it's that far. I think it's literally just through this door here. Because I'm thinking, if I'm not that far from the main hub, I could um, turn in some of that stuff at the uh, the shop. Yeah, it wasn't that far. Actually, this is not a bad idea. Gotta learn to use the shop more often. Okay, so the two schematics are gone. And now if I go into my inventory, I have the semiconductors. Those things are fantastic because they're worth $3,000 with no other purpose. And I got two of them. We're already up to 15,000 credits, which is wild. Um, mm, power node. Actually, you know what? I should bank some of those med kits. Let's bank one of the large med kits, and we'll bank one of the medium med kits. 
Let's see. Large, small, and medium. And lots of ammo. Okay, we should be good, because I'm going to go pick up that other med kit. Oh, I left it on the floor in here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay, we got a small med kit, so that's good. Is there anything in here? I'm trying to remember. I think I left something on the floor in here, too. No, I left a line rack somewhere on the floor. It was in the hallway. Hey, there's something there. I never noticed that before. Did take a small hit there, but nothing major. All right, we're going to do a quick save. Must be go that way. Can't go that way if I wanted to. Uh, zero G All right, and this is why we wanted oxygen. And that is why you want air.
Okay, door is unlocked. Exiting zero gravity. Shock pad. Great. You got a shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Shit. I can hear more coming. Moving through the vents. Stay safe, Isaac. Entering zero gravity. And now there's things that are alive in here. Pretty sure I killed everything that was in here. Just making sure that there's nothing I missed floating around anywhere down there. No items or anything like that. Exiting zero gravity. Okay, so we do have to go back through the uh, open space area. And uh, it's possible there may be things that are Yep, there is. Right here. Yeah, the necromorphs supposedly apparently don't need uh, oxygen out in space. gonna save and I have a really weird feeling that there's gonna be things ambushing me That made me jump. <laughs> Two line racks to kill it. Two line racks is a reward. Crap. Telekinesis has a crazy range. Alright. No way it's going to be that easy. Also, all the doors are now locked. A health kit in there. That wasn't there before. Maybe it was. Oh no. 
remember. Okay. Oh, I hate these things. those things. They're like um, parasites and they get on you and they just eat away at your health. That's what the uh, plasma rifle is really good for, is you can just open fire on them and just massacre them. What was that sound? Huh. Back to the main area where the barricade is. Do I have anything I need to bank or sell? A whole bunch of little med kits. I'm gonna use one. I'm gonna bank one of the small med kits. And then I'm gonna save. Alright, so this is where we combine the thermite and the uh, shock pad. without any kind of warning, into an explosive device, which blows a hole in it. Okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship-wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening! These wounds... We are not equipped to deal with this... God! Get him to the table! Hold him! Nurse, you hold him down! Christ! Every quarter... That was Nicole, right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Alright. There's a hole in the wall here. We gotta be getting close to another save point. It wants me to go that way, so I'm gonna go this way. No, I can't hit that, but I can get it that way. This is module. What's this? Just a wall? That's just a wall. Can't get in that way. We are going this way.
don't think they can open doors. But they can go through vents. Don't need to recharge my oxygen. It wants me to go this way. Okay, we need a battery for that. There's a battery on the floor, like right over here. Right here. Come on, battery. Okay, those dart things that they fire off really hurt. Usually you get hit by them, so I don't know how I dodge them sometimes. Oh my goodness. Survive that. Alright, I'm gonna backtrack because I feel like I missed something in that fray. Um, could use a power node to override this. I don't know what's in there. Don't even have a power node to do it. hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait. I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help. Somebody help me. Please. Please. 
Okay. It, this area straight ahead looks really ominous. And as such, I'm gonna go explore. I got my fully loaded line rack and fully loaded uh, plasma cutter. So I took a few hits there. I'm still alive. Maybe one of these guys dropped the health kit. He dropped a line rack. And some credits. What's that? Text log. Newborns. Great. More little baby things. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of line racks from coming back here, so I'll take it. I really don't know if chucking that cabinet at that thing even did any damage to it. Finding people who are alive and then they die the moment they see me. Does that say something? So, Benjamin, further to our previous conversation, I ask that you delay bringing the marker up from the planet for a day or two. You know, I am as keen as anyone to study it in detail, and I understand your sense of urgency given the events on the colony, but that's why I ask what's happening down there is just too unique, too unprecedented to cut it short without proper time to study it, the causes and effects. In light of a discussion I had with Dr. Mercer, I'd like to meet with Dr. Sierra... Sorello. Oops, scroll. And well in planet side to get their observations. Terence. Alrighty. So, I think what we're gonna do is I think we're gonna save here. Alright, so I'm saved. And I'm gonna stop there. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this, please let me know. And uh, maybe I'll uh, do this, um, pick this up later on after I finish my uh, my Borderlands playthrough. So yeah, hopefully you guys had fun and uh, tune in next week, uh, next weekend rather, for yet another spoopy stream of a totally different game. Uh, this is sort of a whole teaser round of trying new games and seeing what people like. So hopefully you had fun, I know I did, and uh, till next time, stay healthy, stay safe, Discount Magician signing off.